today I'm going to share with you another recipe, one that is pretty popular in the Caribbean and especially in India. We're going to be making roti. Now there are several types of rotis and the roti always gets its name from the filling. You can get chicken roti, beef roti, vegetable roti, but today we're going to be making a roti filled with lentils and chickpeas. That's right, we're going to be making lentil and chickpea roti. So let's go over the ingredients. We have one cup of cooked lentils, one cup of cooked chickpeas. Now, if you didn't get a chance to cook your peas beforehand, you can always use the ones you will get from the can, which are pre-cooked, but I like to cook my peas from scratch. So, one cup of cooked lentils and one cup of cooked chickpeas. We have two medium-sized potatoes chopped roughly. We have half of a medium-sized onion chopped, half of a sweet pepper green chopped, one large carrot chopped, and our spices. Half teaspoon of masala. This really gives an earthiness to our roti. We have one teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of white pepper, and salt to taste. And of course, we need to have curry. We have about five tablespoons of curry, but we may use a little more because we absolutely must have curry in our roti. Oil for sauteing and our roti skins. I will show you how to make the roti skins in a separate video, but we're gonna use these roti skins today to make this amazing lentil and chickpea roti. Our first step is to prepare our potatoes and our carrots. They're going to take the longest to cook, so we're going to have a medium-sized saucepan on. We're going to add our oil because we're going to just saute it. Once our oil is nice and hot and our saucepan was hot, so it is hot already, we're going to add our onion and sweet pepper. This is going to give an amazing aroma. So once we have our onion and sweet pepper in, we'll allow this to saute for about two or three minutes. Then we'll add the potatoes. It has been a couple of minutes and this smells amazing. I absolutely love smelling sweet pepper and onion in the kitchen. So we're gonna add our potatoes and we're gonna add our, oh be careful with the water, try not to get any water in it. Then we're gonna add our carrots. And we're going to add our seasonings because we will allow them to season as they are cooking. So we'll add all of our seasonings at this time and we'll just use half of our curry. Remember, just half of the curry we're going to add to the potatoes at this time. And we'll allow these to cook for about, about five minutes and then we'll add a tip of water. It's been about 10 or so minutes. Well, and our curry is really totally mixed in with our potatoes and our carrots. The, the potatoes are nice and soft. So it's now time for us to add, oh, it really smells good. It's time to add the lentils. Lentils always bring a, a earthiness, a meaty feeling almost to any dish. And of course, our chickpeas. Chickpeas and potatoes. A guaranteed winner so we're gonna mix our lentils our chickpeas together with our potatoes and carrots and the extra bit of curry remember we must always have lots and lots of curry and once I add the remaining curry and if you want to you can just go ahead and add another tablespoon never too much curry when you're making a, a Caribbean roti we we'll allow this to just Allow all the flavors to just blend together. So we'll keep this in the saucepan for maybe another five minutes. Most of the water has been reduced, but we want the chickpeas and the lentils to just blend together, mix together, to just sing together. So we'll keep it, make sure your heat is low. And in another couple of minutes, it will be done. In the meantime, I'm gonna prepare our roti skin. So in a 
large frying pan with medium heat i'm gonna add just a teeny bit of butter and i would have had the roti skins prepared already i will show you how to do that in a separate video and just to get it nice and warm we're gonna put it completely to cover the saucepan the frying pan i will keep it here just for a couple of minutes then i'll flip it over and then it will be ready to totally envelop our roti our roti is done just look at how well it looks like it gelled together all of the water we would have reduced all of the water made sure we allow them to stay in the saucepan so they can just blend together just mix together well our roti skins are also finished now we're going to put them together for this amazing lentil and chickpea roti on the go or even dinner make yourself lentil and chickpea roti it is so filling you won't believe it now it's time to taste it's still warm and it's folded nicely but we're gonna get in there mmm That was so good and from that one bite you can taste the carrot definitely the potato and potatoes and chickpeas always taste so well together and the lentils the combination is something that you absolutely must try lentil and chickpea roti now you need to try it now if you enjoyed this lentil and chickpea roti i want you to look over here see some of my other videos and once you've watched them all just click the button below subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time i post a video and remember to leave me a comment i love hearing from you